Hi, I'm Profe, and I've been teaching Spanish since 2000. I have a Teachers Pay Teachers store for Spanish teachers, and I create these videos to share new activity ideas that you can use in your Spanish classroom tomorrow morning. So if you've seen my store before, you know that I have thousands of products, and I know that it's really easy to get lost in the options. Not only am I overproductive, but I'm also overly organized as well. So if you click below, you can find free product guides to help you find the activities for the topic that you are teaching this week. You can also follow my store to get announcements about upcoming sales. Okay, let's take a look at the cultural perspectives activities. These are very self-explanatory, so you're going to get a PDF and an editable version and instructions for you as the teacher. So, you're going to give each student a perspective sheet. These are in English because they are used not only by Spanish classes, but also social studies classes, professional development, and such. And they're going to read through a series of statements about a particular cultural topic, and they're going to highlight them. Pink, I disagree, that is not my experience. Yellow, I agree, that is my experience. Green, not only is that my experience, but I think that's part of my family's culture. And blue, I've never even heard of this before. So the one that you're saying, the example here is about names. So you have statements like, I have a first name, a middle name, and a last name. Or I have two first names and two last names. Or I have a hyphenated last name. Or my last name is one word, but it has two capital letters in it. I was named after a family member. My name has religious significance, things like that. Then at the end, they have time to compare with a partner and say, what do we have in common? And then time for you to discuss as a class. Um, I give you some guiding questions to help you go through that as well. Here's what I think you're going to like. Obviously, this is a really good cultural reflection. It's going in-depth on one topic at a time. It's designed to increase self-awareness, which is one of those really important SEL learning targets. Minimal explanation is needed. It's culturally responsive, helping students acknowledge and appreciate and share their own cultural traditions with each other. And this is also designed to be a natural lead-in for direct instruction on the corresponding Everyday Culture series. So this one is about names. It is a great lead-in to doing the slide deck about naming traditions in Latin America compared to in the United States. Whenever you buy Spanish activities from my store, you will get detailed instructions for you and for your students so that you can be ready to roll tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching. I hope you feel like you have one more tool for your teacher's toolbox. If you have any questions, my email is down below.